How about some breakfast? Oh, fix your own breakfast. Scene 55, take one. Action. I suppose all of you out there are looking at me and say, eh, just another fellow with a pretty face, eh? I'm sitting here going over my records. My records for the last 20 years to see what I should do. I have no idea what to do. I think I need some help. Some kind of computer's advice like they used to have in the old countries. I wish my wife was around here to help me a little bit. Hey, you old bat, put down that heifer and come in here a minute, will you? For crying out loud, can't you do anything by yourself? Listen, I'm looking at the records. And all I've been doing is looking at the records all night and I can't figure out what's going on around here because they're all blank sheets. I've got a blank sheets all the way through. I go through the little computer machine here and she comes upside down. Hey, let's cut. And another oh. thing I've got is... Uh, cut, cut. <laughs> going to get me that new kitchen you promised me? Well, uh, you see...
Along pretty good this morning. All right, sir. I start uh, combining in Grandfield, Oklahoma. Take four gleaner combines and go up through Kansas, Nebraska, finish up in Montana. I have eight men in my crew. Oh, the wheat was pretty good. It Averaged, or oh, 30, 35 bushel. Rained a whole lot, wheat got down, and we had quite a bit of trouble, but we made it all right. Made it all the way through pretty good. We put about uh, five to 600 hours per machine. All right, so this is Del High Plantation at Holly Bluff, Mississippi. And uh, it's owned by Mr. K.C. Lofton, Mr. E.A. Woodard from Dale High, Louisiana. That's where this plantation got its name, was uh, from this little town in Louisiana. It's uh, 10,000 acres here. They, far, they uh, cleared this land up in 1964. It was uh, just a swamp, water, and alligators, everything down in here. And they come in and clean it all up. Now they've got 10,000 acres of soybeans they've had for four years. I have 10 G gleaners working here. They cut this whole thing, 10,000 acres with 10 G gleaners. As uh we progressed down uh, this road towards editorial research on products. Uh, we asked our readers again, well, uh, what equipment would you like to have us evaluate for you, and in what way? And the one thing that stood uh, high above anything else was the large combine. Uh, more information was wanted on it, more evaluations were wanted on it uh, by our readers. And thus, uh, we initiated and have, uh, for I expect some uh, six, eight months now, been working towards this day when we bring these five combines out to this field in Kansas uh, to begin some evaluations.
Well, I'm sorry, Jim. I just don't have that particular part. We just sold the last one this morning. But I'll get on the phone and call the branch. They have them send one right down the bus. Oh, that happens every time. Every time. Hold it, hold it. Here it is, Joe. Wrong band again. <clears throat> we had it all the time. Now, uh, that's what I like. That's more like it. That's the kind of service. That's the kind of service. See you, Jim. <laughs> You machinery men are never around when we need you. 